Today is National Gun Violence Awareness Day, an annual event that recognizes people who were killed or wounded by gunfire in the United States each year. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight at 9. I'm Casey Smith. Anna Darling's off tonight. Fox 24's Brianna Moore talked with the one local gun violence survivor about her advocacy in our community and learned about an event this weekend where you can show your support. You don't personally have to be threatened by a gun to be impacted by gun violence. This is Emma Barber, co-lead volunteer for the Arkansas chapter of Moms Demand Action, an organization that raises awareness regarding gun violence in the community. She tells me her encounter with gun violence started at a young age. Actually, it was junior high, uh, a fellow band member, uh, a fellow percussionist, one day didn't show up to school. And it was odd that she wasn't there because um, she, you know, as a percussionist, we all sat in the back and hung out together. She says her principal came in and shared the news that her friend and fellow band member committed suicide by using a family member's shotgun. That is just such a common thing you see in gun violence is suicide. Most people think mass shootings, uh, I think homicides, but suicides are actually a large percentage of gun violence. That event was one of the many things that inspired Emma in becoming an activist for gun violence. I talked with Sergeant Stephen Mock with the Fayetteville Police Department, and he says it's important for everyone to practice gun safety, like safe and proper gun storage and using things like a gun lock. Keeping the weapons, you know, secured and stored safely, if that means unloaded in a particular uh, instance and in a safe, or some other type of lockable device and up and out of the reach of children, obviously. Emma and the Arkansas Mothers Demand Action Team will hold an event tomorrow in honor of Wear Orange Weekend. It goes from 9 a.m. to noon at 40 South Willow Avenue in Fayetteville. You can find more details over on our website, fox24news.tv. Reporting in Fayetteville, Brianna Moore, Fox 24 News.